this is Adam Jensen. I'm a big fan of Crazy Horse Gaming. I didn't ask for this, but I'll check it out. Hey everybody, Mike here bringing you another video, and I'm doing something I haven't done for a while, and that is a pickup video. As many of you know, I disappeared from YouTube for a couple of months, and I'm back now, and I want to start getting into the routine of doing what I was building on last time, and one of those things was a monthly pickup vid. So here is a pickup vid for the month of August 2015, and I've got a, a few goodies to show you. It's not a huge amount. Uh, I don't know. Uh, look, at, There's a fair bit there, but I've done bigger holes before um but there's still there's some really good stuff here i want to show you um so let's chat and let's get straight into it shall we first off i've got something which i think is quite special that i uh, wish to show you guys um i picked this up from a friend of mine a couple of weeks back um the guy you know he's featured on the site a couple of times is justin the man behind the awesome amiga walker I don't know why I said Amiga Walker like that, Amiga Walker, and he was selling a few of his goods to get rid of, to create some space, get rid of some of the stuff, and he sold this one, which I had to pick up in a snap, because it was the first home computer type gaming thing that I ever had, it's kind of what launched, launched me down the road of video game, and I guess it was the very first thing I had, and that was the Amstrad CPC 464, and as you can see, this thing is a beast, massive. Again, it's the, the first kind of computer I ever owned. Uh, looking at old school computer, this one, it was a brilliant thing back in the day. I haven't got around to getting some time on it yet and playing it, but I'm really glad I picked this up. Picked this up with a ton of games, which I will go through with you in a minute. Almost dropped it there. So, the games. They, it came with a bunch of games, as you can see. And there is uh, a little game in the actual thing itself. We have... Amsoft's Sultan Maze, Amsoft's Hangman, another Amsoft one, uh, Amsoft one, sorry, which is one I'm sure I used to have as a kid, I'm sure I used to play this one, is the Harriet Attack, it rings some serious bells, I'm sure I heard that, Amsoft the Galactic Plague, Let's see there, quite a few games here, uh, Amsoft. This is a classic, this one. Amsoft Roland in the Caves. I should play this one and all. When I was a kid. We have Road Blasters, which is by US Gold. Star Raiders 2, The Galactic Adventure Continues. That is done by Electric Dreams. Uh, another one for the Amstrad, uh, which is a game I want to get for the. NES, uh, it's a classic on the NES, but I'm so glad I've got it on the Amstrad as well. That is Rampage. Yeah. Amstrad, available on the NES. Won't mind getting that. We have another Amsoft title. This one is Fruit Machine. I definitely had this as a kid. It's basically literally a, a fruit machine for your Amstrad. And you just put the money in and press the space bar and it goes dee -dee 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 -dee. and you're in virtual money. Real money, unfortunately. Another Amsoft title. Oh, mummy. Don't know that one. At least I don't think I do. It's been a long years. And yes, you guessed it again. Amsoft with Time Man 1. Telling time and setting the clock. A educational game, no less. Yuck. Amsoft with Bridget. Got a Bridget. Don't remember that one either. And another Amsoft. I think they're all just Amsoft. So I'm just going to stop saying another Amsoft. With Roland on the ropes. Roland on the ropes. Do apologise about the glare there, people. Animal, vegetable, and mineral. Can the computer guess the object you thought of? Uh, yeah. Educationalish game, I guess. A bit of a show-off thing. Can the computer work stuff out? Which obviously can and your medical <gasps> and Amsoft's easy AMS word computer word processor and last but not least uh, this was an awesome arcade uh, arcade game back in the days uh, it's been on many other consoles it's really cool to have this for the Amstrad and that is Outrun yes I'm sure I had this one as a kid as well uh, but yeah 
So, that was everything for the M3 CPC-464, which is an awesome, awesome uh, piece of kit there. So glad I've got that, and I'll be getting that set up soon. So, plenty of uh, awesome, awesome titles there to be getting on with in my Amstrad collection. Uh, I might figure out a way to try and record some of that for you so you can see some of the um, gloriousness of the Amstrad CPC-464. Next up, uh, it's been quite an interesting last couple of weeks. Uh, as some of you may know, me and Liam, we tend to travel quite a lot to different cash converters and stuff around uh, around our area, and um, usually see what they pick up. Quite often, there's not much, but this time around, we have had a fair bit of luck, and it is probably the most retro uh, collection we picked up yet. Uh, I also was down in Leeds uh, last week, or the week before, maybe. Uh, and I got a few pickups there. Also called into a cash converters down there and picked up a couple of things, which interestingly enough are also linked to the stuff that I picked up in Sheffield. So we'll start with the things that we picked up in, I did say Sheffield, but I went Rotherham. Uh, we'll start with the things we picked up at the cash converters in Rotherham. And those are good old Atari games. First off we have Venture, I believe it's a 2600 game. All time classic. Space Invaders. Pele's Soccer. And this one, I paid a bit more than what I probably would have liked. I did get a couple of quick knocked off. Uh, it cost me £7. Uh, but it's not very often you see something in this condition. This is an Atari 7800 game. Oh, you don't see it very often now where we live. And that is Mission Impossible. What's more important is it's boxed. And it's got all the instructions, all the uh, inserts, everything in there. It's in really good condition. Uh, slight bit, I think I've gone down to 7 quid on that. Uh, but yeah, that's Mission Impossible. And the Atari 7800. Now, as you heard, um, I was dribbling about being down in Leeds the other day and I called in to the cash converters in Leeds and found a couple of things and I said they were related and that's because I got some more Atari games. I got Dig Dug 2600. Awesome, 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 awesome game. Another classic I got picked up was Qbert. Right uh, again, classic game. I actually played a bit of the HD reboot remake type thing of it at Play Blackpool. And this one I'm quite pleased to have found because it's not very often you see these around, or at least around our area. I'm sure other places they are common as hell. But for the 2600 it is Mario Brothers! Yes, before they were Super and before they were on the NES, we have Mario Brothers on the 2600. I uh, had to snap up and just sat there looking at me and I was like, gotta have that game. So I can't. So, the next couple of things are, again, two two items which I picked up while I was down at Leeds. I had a really good time down at Leeds. I had a look around a couple of the uh, uh, shops on that round there. Uh, I've had some decent good stuff. And I um, will also show you the main reason for going down Leeds in the first place. I did have a... Down there, um, random. And I'll explain and show you that in a minute. But one of the pickups I picked up in Leeds again. I was picking pick up in Leeds again. Anyway... <laughs> So this I picked up uh, at the works, one of the you know the discount bookstore things. It was on sale. It was a tenner. Uh, I figured I had to pick this up. I got back. Uh, it was a Sunday. I got back around about um, five o'clock Sunday evening. I got back from Leeds, and this pretty much took the rest of my night up. And that is this beast. This is a Meccano set, which is the. Gears of War, is it the Raven helicopter? Well, like I said, it was reduced to a tenner, and it was just there, it was the last one on the shelf. So I had to pick it up and spend the rest of Sunday night making this, and I'm really pleased with it. It's awesome, 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 uh, and huge. Don't know where I'm gonna find where to put that, but I'm sure I'll manage. Yes, that's the Raven helicopter from Gears of War. Now, the main reason for me going down to Leeds uh, was because an item came up for sale on Facebook. I uh, believe it was on the MTM Expo group, I think. And this item was something I've been after for a while. It's, uh, in my opinion, quite a special item, and I kind of had to snap it up. So I asked if the person uh, would willing to take the offer I um, gave them, and they did. And I went down to Leeds, met up with the uh, said person, uh, and Purchased this item from them, then spent the day going around these with them. They were showing me all the cool places, uh, all the bookshops, the game shops, and stuff. Where I ended up spending more money. I had a really good time in Leeds, and I'm so glad I went down there. Uh, and 
also picked up this beauty, which is the Resident Evil 4 PlayStation 2 Chainsaw Controller. I've been after one of these for a fair bit, and this is in such good nick. It's an awesome, awesome controller. I'm really pleased that I got that. Uh, paid, a, paid, a, paid a good price for it and all. I'm not going to go into what I paid or who I bought it off. But yeah, I'm so glad I went down there. So glad I picked this up. It was an awesome thing to add to my collection. And I'm really chuffed about it. So that's the uh, Resident Evil 4 Chainsaw. I'll get a better shot there. Chainsaw controller for the PlayStation 2. And the GameCube one. The GameCube one is a little bit more rarer and more expensive than the PlayStation 2 one. And I'm still just so sometimes it's in my collection. Uh, yeah. So that's a, a big thank you. Uh, to the person who I'm not going to mention, I don't know if they want me to mention any on YouTube or anything like that for selling this to me and showing me around Lisa, it was an awesome day. So, that brings me to the end of this month's pickup vid. I may do another one at the end of August, we'll see how I'm going. Uh, I can't see me having that many more pickups there, I might just wait till the following month and do another pickup vid then. But hopefully, I will be bringing the pickup vids back for a monthly thing. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up or subscribe button. I really, really appreciate it. Helps me out a huge amount. Thank you for everyone who's already subscribed. You're all awesome people. And yes, if you have any comments, I mean, have you got any decent um, pickups recently? Please leave them in the comment section below. What did you think of the pickups I've got? Uh, do you have some of them? Some of them are after. Uh, please let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to know what you're thinking. And yes, I want to say a big thank you once again for watching. I'll catch you all in the next video. So again, thank you and goodbye.